Hi guys. I know, I know I'm late. Jessica Urson is already like, is Kay late? What's happening? Is Kay coming? She gotta be here. Jessica, that's the new voice I gave you. Do you like it? What? No? Oh. <laughs> guys, today, today was, was trying me. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> it was trying me. But I'm here. I'm here. I made it. I by the skin of my teeth, but I made it. And I have a string hanging off this top and I will get rid of it. Oh, okay, God, that kills me. Oh my goodness, Sassy Red. Glad you can make it, Kate. I'm glad I can make it too, <laughs> to my own live stream. Thanks guys, thanks for hanging in there. Um, welcome. Am I supposed to introduce myself? I never introduce myself. I figure if you're here, you probably know who I am. But if you don't know who I am, my name is Kate. Kate the Great Beauty. And um, let's look at some comments. Look at, let's look at some chatsikins here. So you guys are, you know, you're killing it with a thumbs up. Okay, there are 91 thumbs ups and 117 people watching. So let's do some quick math. I don't know. I can't, I can't do math, but there's some people who haven't thumbs up. So get on it. <laughs> I think I am the most, I can't believe you guys are okay with what a Nazi I am. Like I'm yelling at you to do these things. I don't know any other YouTuber who does that. <laughs> well, 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 what do you want? Okay, Debbie Rosales is here. Hello, everyone. I missed the last two, but watched on replay. Thank you to everyone, anyone and everyone who watches this on replay. That is a true commitment to Kate the Great Beauty, if I've ever seen it. Ali Sun is here. I decluttered more today. I had to make room for my M Cosmetics blush coming. Yes, we love a declutter. Cheers, Julie Maggi is here. Anna Marie. Of course, Lauren Boyless is here. Yes, yes. Hello, Kimberly Langendorfer. Hello. Carolyn Wilson is here. I hope everyone is well and has a beverage. Yes, that is very important. It's very important. Let's see. <laughs> Kate, Kate Puglia. Kate would be proud. I found myself a Matua Sauvignon Blanc at the store today. That's what I'm sip. Yes, Matua is chef's kiss. It's, it's just one of my faves. One of my faves. Sarah Kleinsmith is here. I'm ready to drink, but I'm waiting for my kid to go to sleep. Oh, God. Go to sleep. Jeez. Uh, I know what that's like. Those days of nannying and babysitting being like, it's time for you to go to bed, right? Is it time? You want, wait, you want me to redo a story? All right. Okay, I guess, but three minutes story time and then it lights out. <laughs> I have to go watch some Netflix and drink some wine. Okay? Bye. <laughs> You're really cramping my style, kid. You're really cramping my style. Let's see, I'm still scrolling. I'm still scrolling, I'm behind. We're talking about migraines. We're talking about, ooh, Heather Willis is having a dry gin martini. Linda Carroll, hello everyone. I made it on time yet again, drinking a wine spritzer with my lemon blueberry brownies. Pfft. Well, excuse me, Linda Carroll. Fancy schmance gourmet over here. That's, that sounds amazing. Okay, I have to get <laughs> down to the bottom of this. Katrina Hemingway. I scheduled a meeting with Kate today so I could stop with the horrors known as being a distance learning teacher for one sweet, sweet hour. Well, thank you for being here. Oh my goodness, Sarah Kleinsmith said, oh gosh, the chat is moving so fast, I can't even. <laughs> Keep up with it. 
Sarah Kleinsmith, my mom started watching your channel, Kate. She adores Matua as well. Yay! Well, welcome, Sarah's mom. I don't think Sarah's mom is here, but if she is, welcome. Okay, so here we are. We've gathered here today to drink things. To talk about makeup, I need to... I'm, you know, I'm giving you a very glossy lip situation, but inevitably that's just not a good look for the wine glass. So we're going to wipe, just going to wipe that off gently there. So I listed this in the description box beforehand. This looks like I'm drinking Kool-Aid, but I swear I'm not. <laughs> this is, um, what is it? What the hell is it? Let me see. I don't even remember. Oh, a Rose Cachal Gar Garcia, Garcia. I don't know how to say it, but it's, it's, I believe it's from Portugal. It is a dry, is a Vino Verde Rose. I didn't even know that was a thing. Didn't know, but it is. And I'm having it right here in front of you, in front of your very eyes. Let me just adjust this here. Okay, people are asking. <laughs> so everything within reason and I'll let you know if it's not. But everything I'm wearing on my face that I'm going to talk about, the alcohol I'm drinking, even sometimes the jewelry I'm wearing, and if I can list where I've my clothing is from, I'll list it. I don't know where this is from, but my mom sent it to me, and it's beautiful. So I will find out. I didn't have time to find out, but I will. And when I, when I do find out, I'll list it in that description box. But everything... <laughs> else is listed in the description box every uh, like all the shades of what I'm going to talk about all that good stuff so if you're asking questions in the chat most of that stuff is covered in the description box okay okay oh yeah okay great so other really exciting things I want to tell you one huge announcement guys i have a p.o box i know i know i thought i had one at usps and then i really looked into it and i was like you know one i don't want to have one at usps okay i want to go someplace else because it's shit show there and the box is do you know what a waiting list in new york city is like for a p.o box that's anything larger than like this i it's like the waiting lists are just endless. Like it's just, it's impossible. So we didn't do that. We went with another location, but I'm very, very happy to say that it is indeed, indeed you do, listed in my description box. <laughs> so you, if, if you guys, you know, I've had a lot of you write me, you wanted to send me goodies, whatever, you now have a place to send it and I am more than happy to receive it. So thank you so much. Thank you to Sherry Ford, who sent $150 specifically for me to get a PO box as well as Jennifer Piatka because all that, all of that donation money went to a very, 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 very expensive box. <laughs> Whatever it is where you live, it's two times, at least two times the price to get one of those here. So thank you to those ladies. Thank you more than I can possibly say. But it did go to a good cause and I feel overly adult because I actually made it happen. <laughs> and the guy who helped me was incredibly nice, like, which is very strange for New York. I was like, are you kind of into me? Like, but like maybe a little bit though. <laughs> I didn't look good, so probably not. Um, anyway, okay, so as you know, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. So different ways to support my channel. I always like to start the live stream off with that because, you know, it's important. So you can thumbs this video up. It really helps. It really does. I promise. You can also subscribe. That you should have done that first. <laughs> this is the part where I shame you. 
it's time for the shaming. <laughs> please subscribe, please thumbs this up. Please, if you love, like, not just my channel, any channel, please go ahead and share people's videos. It helps us more than we can possibly say as YouTube creators. You can also send a super chat. Everyone loves a super chat, okay? And that is pretty self-explanatory, but it's a dollar sign right at the bottom. It Everyone sees super chats and it's like a party and it's super fun and it's a way for you to support my channel monetarily if you so choose. No one has to do that, okay? But if you want to, you can. There's that. You can also support my channel by sending that to my Venmo or PayPal, which Randy will put uh, in the chat. And I swear this is always the thing I forget. It's always the thing I forget to put in my description box. I don't know why. And I should have it, I should have it like just copied and paste, or I should have it just somewhere I can copy and paste. I don't. <laughs> so I'm going to do it now. Um, but he will put that in the chat as well. Randy's my moderator, as well as um, my boyfriend who I live with. If you're wondering who the hell I'm talking about, he's in the next room. Um, okay, great. Oh, geez. Have to do that every damn time. Every damn time. Okay, now it's corrected. Great, great. Okay, so there you have it. So, oh yes, and Randy put it in the chat. So those are your options. Or you can literally just sit here and drink with me too. That's cool too. Gem of the Hills, I love your look tonight. Hello from Central Florida. Well, hello, Gem of the Hills. It's a great handle. <laughs> Let's see. What did I miss? <laughs> okay. Lord is Selman, you better get ready for all the goodies coming your way. There may not be room for Randy in the apartment. That's a real problem. That's a real problem. <laughs> Sassy Red, now you just have to make sure you go to it all the time to collect everything? Well, yes. I mean, I'd like them to bring it to me, but as you can imagine, they won't, especially not in New York. <laughs> so yes, I will go, but you know, I take walks every day. It's okay. I don't mind that. Kimberly Langendurfer, perhaps we should, perhaps we should begin every live with a moment of silence for Sherry Ford. Perhaps we should. <laughs> Makes it sound like she died, though. We need like a, a better, like livelier tribute. That's true. That sounded very somber and morose. You're right. That that wasn't that wasn't correct. Um, <laughs> what about one of those party poppers where you like pull the string and put, like? Well, do you have a party popper on you? <laughs> Not on me, but I'm sure we can. Okay, we'll get we'll get some party poppers for Sherry Ford next time. Next time. Let's clap for her then. Okay, everyone clap for Sherry Ford. She's not even here yet. She doesn't even know we're doing this. If you clap for Sherry Ford in in a 275 square foot in New York City and no one else is around, does Sherry Ford hear it? <laughs> Can she still hear it? No but it's the thought that counts. So we are, we're gonna talk about Fenty today, okay? I know we've been talking a lot about Fenty, like a week and a half ago or whatever, I did a like a full face of Fenty, but I got some more Fenty. <laughs> and I was just gonna do like, I was gonna do a get ready with me with just cream products today. And then I was talking to Michelle Wong, who's essentially, um, she's basically my life coach and she like, she didn't even ask for it, but she just is. Cause she's like, maybe you should, you love this. Fen oh, Katrina, $15. Cheers. Thank you for the Venmo, Katrina. Oh, <laughs> oh, Sherry Ford. I'm here. I'm alive and love you all back. <laughs> you guys, she heard, she heard she's real. I know her. I know her. Sherry Ford. 
Okay, so Michelle like is like you should just do like a like a a Fenty beauty haul where you just go through all like put it all in your face and go through all the products. And I was like, yeah, yeah, Michelle Wong, you talk some sense. <laughs> you sure do talk some sense. So that's what I'm doing here today. And I'm very excited because I have some very fabulous new Fenty and I'm a fan of every damn piece of it. So get ready. Also, I want you to know that we have some special guests here today. It's very exciting. They're fruit flies and they're everywhere. Oh, someone's, wait, oh no, okay, never mind. So we're having a fruit fly issue. Oh, Lord has sent $75, Lord, <laughs> Lord is Selman. Lord have mercy, Lord is. Looks like there's a new Sherry Ford in town. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lord is. Woo! Okay, so thank you, thank you, Lourdes. That is like beyond generous. Thank you for the Venmo. So, fruit flies. Yes, we understand why they're here. It's it's beginning to be summer time here in New York City, and anytime there's a sweet thing around, they want to be on that sweet thing. And so, <clears throat> I mean, it's like my art sink was empty every dish was it's like everything can be just perfectly clean and put away and they're still there so I need to go get some apple cider vinegar because I've been told that that is what I put it in a bowl and they all they want it and then they drown so that's what I'm gonna do Sarah Kleinsmith, Kate, when you're a huge beauty YouTuber and they offer you your own makeup line, your first lipstick color should be called Sherry Ford. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Bleach down the drain. Dump bleach down the drain, Jessica Urson is saying. Okay, we're on it. I don't know that we have any bleach. Does it does like toilet bowl cleaner count? Can I dump some of that down there? That'll work. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. I hate them. They make me irrationally angry. They're gonna be around here. I already know one's gonna be in my glass and you know what, I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna drink it down. So those are our special guests. We are also, <laughs> today was just so incredibly, I don't know what it was. It was like, the day, Crap. It was total crap. The day got away from us. I went to get, it was a success getting the, you know, mailbox, which is great. But then, see, so, you now, I want to explain, here's a New York situation, okay? So, I'm like, okay, great. I'll, I'll go do the mailbox, and then there's a CDS right there. It'll be perfect. I'll go in, I'll get some grosh, and I'll, you know, I'll get some cash because we need cash to do laundry, okay? We need, we have, you can't have $1 bills. No, no, you have to have a 5, 10, 20 or whatever, okay? It's, it's very specific downstairs. So I'm like, okay, great, no big deal. So then I get to the register at CVS and I open my billfold and I see that there's no debit card there. I've somehow left the debit card at home and you think, well, no big deal, you have your phone. Well, no, you can't get cash back with your phone at CBS. So now I'm just ready to punch a wall. I'm like, well, now I've gotta go home and get the debit card. But then I'm like, well, well wait, <laughs> but wait, I can use my phone to get cash out if I go to a chase. Problem solved, right? The chase is eight blocks away, okay? I have groceries. No, and you're like, okay, oh, there's a chase in my neighborhood. How convenient. No, not convenient when it's eight blocks away and you don't have a car. So I walk my ass over eight blocks to get $20 so we can put it on a card so we can do the laundry. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It's not over yet because I get home. We have laundry to do. Okay, it's piling up. We've been working out. We've been going on walks. We need workout clothes. 
<sighs> Randy is doing the laundry today, but I was already all like COVID, COVID it up. I was already like just dirty. I just walked in the door. I'm like, just give me the laundry. I'll just go downstairs and then you can finish it. Okay, great. <sighs> it's almost over. I go downstairs. If you've seen my other live streams, you know that we're having a rat problem that we thought had been, maybe it was being taken care of because, you know, you have to, go, we have to go down into a courtyard, like outside, you go down to the basement, into a courtyard, through the courtyard to the scary murderous laundry room. So I go down there thinking, well, this is getting better. The situation is getting better. No. No. And I, you best believe that I was Marco Poloing Better Off Red and Michelle Wong because I take them down there with me now. If I have to go down there, I take them with me. And they have, they're like my witness to what's happening. And there's just trash everywhere. Like the trashes are like tipped over. There's every, it's just, it's literally just a scene down there. And I'm thinking to myself, well, this isn't good. This isn't good. So I do the thing where I make noise. I make noise to try to scare the rats and I think I'm fine, but they don't leave until you make an appearance. You can make all the noise you want around a corner, but the rats need to see you to run, okay? They need to see the whites of your eyes before they literally dart at you. So I'm like, oh, I've made all the noise. I'm like, okay, no rats. Walk out, rat runs down, like almost over my foot. I scream bloody murder. Randy texts me. We live on the sixth floor. I'm in the courtyard downstairs. He texts me. He's like, did you just scream in the courtyard? I was like, yes, yes. Okay. I didn't go. I didn't, I like, I refuse. I'm like, I'm not doing laundry. I'm not doing laundry. So Randy went downstairs and took pictures of the whole courtyard that I'm going to send to my landlord. But that's all to say, we, we didn't get laundry done. Uh, like nothing worked out. And oh no, the, and the main point is like the rat ran down and I was like trying to like pick myself up on my bootstraps and I was like, you can do this. Come on, Kate, you're, you're a Viking. Get out there. You're not scared of no rats. And then like I was about to walk out and literally, I'm not even kidding you, it sounds like I'm making this up, this rat head like poked around the corner and was like, boop, and like looked at me and I was like, no, 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 no. And then when Michelle <laughs> and Sarah Marco pulled me back, they both said they could hear the squeak. <sighs> Fruit flies and rats, folks. Fruit flies and rats. So I'm going to take all of Randy's pictures. He actually wrote the letter for me, <laughs> which I'm going to send, which will do nothing, but I'm going to send it. Anyway, that's all to say, this is what, this is what the day was. My dad said, my dad is here. If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. That's right. That's right. Because it's miserable here. Side note. <laughs> 17 side note. Wait, let, what did I miss? Let me go back up. Teresa Gutierrez sent the most emojis I've ever seen. Like literally all the emojis and they're all a little, they're all a little different here and there. That must've taken some time, Teresa. Cece, you need a cat. Like, like I'm gonna take the time to get like an adorable cat and then I'm gonna be like, here's your life now and like <laughs> release the cat into this like rat den in like a trash pit like what kind of person would I be if I got a cat for that um n no I I think I think that's a no how about no <laughs> how about no <sighs> oh you're saying the laundry room needs a cat well I mean I, I, yes yes Miss Robbie Lou, they dart at you. Yes, yes, Miss Robbie Lou, they do. And I had another another tenant. It sounds like a tale, but he said that one of his friends went down there and a rat. Fell. I I said this in my other live stream, but they, a rat like fell like on his head like from the wall. Rats climb. 
they climb things. <sighs> All right, that's that story. <laughs> they charge, I don't think they're charging at us, but they just don't care. They just don't, I mean, they're like, they're fearless. Like animals who live in New York City are also animals where if they can make it here, they can make it anywhere. Like they, they just don't care, they'll come right up to you. And you're thinking, oh, how cute, no. Not like Cinderella, okay? It's not, that's not what I'm talking about. We don't wanna be friends with the animals here. <laughs> Linda, live your life. Maybe you should get your laundry service. During a pandemic? I'm gonna take my laundry. <laughs> I would rather eat a hot bowl of worms than literally like drag. Do you like how I'm just knocking down all of your suggestions? I'm like, how dare you suggest that to make my life easier? <laughs> but like, th that was the one thing when I got my own place in New York City 11 years ago and I moved in here, I was like, Number one stipulation, must have laundry in the building. I am not hauling my cookies five blocks to do my laundry. Forget about it. Forget it. Forget about it. <laughs> but, you know, what? where would we get these stories? You know, I mean, if I didn't, I didn't go through these miserable times. <laughs> if I wasn't such a martyr what 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 stories would we have shireen corsand i would love to live in new york city but in my fantasy of that i'm a multi-millionaire in a fabulous apartment shireen you and everyone else <laughs> do you see sex in the city did you see that that's 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 your fantasy okay my dad give him a craft single that'll kill him i mean but will it will it maybe maybe it's worth a shot bleach down the drain and craft singles for the rats let's get on it right after this live stream that's that's our next order of business jenny sex in the city never did laundry pretty sure she definitely had laundry service okay Oh, Grace Adams, one time a bat flew in our house growing up and animal control wouldn't come by. So my dad had to do what he had to do with a shovel and a trash bag. Ooh, woof. Wow, that is, that's rough. Okay, yes, yes, if you haven't liked this, this, this live stream, I would so appreciate it if you'd press that thumbs up button. Thank you so much. So I told you about my shitty day. <laughs> told you that I have a mailbox. Another piece of fun information. Guys, my merch is on sale again. I don't know why. Teespring is just like, here's another sale. So um, I've included, let me just double check. Because I was doing everything at the last minute. Yes, I did include it in the description box. Um, the, the promo code is merch sale, but you need to look at it because it's merch, but instead of an E in merch, it's a three. Why? Why Teespring? Why make it hard? <laughs> merch sale at checkout, at checkout for 10% off. I'm actually going to go ahead and put that in the description box because that is wildly confusing. Um... Okay, so that that's, there you go. That's the code. Um, and just so you know, a lot of people ask me this question. I When, when Teespring does those 10% off promo codes, I don't take a cut or a hit at all. So thanks Teespring, you did something right. Okay, here we go. Fenty, 
Fenty haul. So here's what I did. I'm wearing everything that I'm going to talk about on my face. Um, wait, I need to say that better. Everything I'm wearing on my face. <laughs> everything I'm going to talk about is currently on my face. Oh my God. And I tried to find some different ways of wearing some things so I could fit everything in. And I did it. Guys, I did it. Okay. Linda Carroll, Kate, will you be getting any long sleeved tees? You know, I can easily make long sleeve tees. It's not a big deal. I just felt like they weren't popular. I think I had a long sleeve tee with youngish for a while, and like no one bought it. And I was like, oh, but I sh yeah. Okay, I'll add some. I'll definitely add some long sleeved tees. Okay. What else did I miss? Kim McConnell, oatmeal and plaster of Paris will do the trick on the rats. Oh, what? I don't know what that, like, like you feed it to them? Ugh. Rats. Okay, so first things first. So I, I took advantage of the Fenty 25% off friends and family sale that was going on. It ended on Monday. Um, and guys, it got here so, so fast. Um, it took like a couple of days. I was so impressed. Um, so they're like, I want to, I think I got four items in that. And so I'm going to take you through, through what I'm wearing on my face and my thoughts on the products while we drink, while we talk, you know, you know how it goes. Tara Ball, you look so pretty in red. Thanks, Tara Ball. Jamie Mayfield, I had a terrible day at work and I wanted a drink for this, but my husband wouldn't pick up any because we just bought a car, so we are budgeting. I told him to get four, get four loco in desperation, and he said no. Okay, wait, are you telling me that you bought a car and now you can't drink? Girl, that was not worth it. <laughs> you need to tell your husband... If that was the trade-off that was unspoken, we're taking the car back. <laughs> we're taking him back. Back it up, 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 back it up. No, you think I'm kidding, but I'm serious. Bye. Bye, car. See you never. <laughs> um Paula B44, I had laundry service in San Francisco at the corner of Crack and 8-Ball. Oh, dear. Cheaper than doing it myself, and they folded my thong underwear. Well, that sounds great. I mean, well, I, yeah. I don't know that they're going to do that. They might. They might. I, prob I probably won't ever find out. Okay, so... We're going to start here because I'm like belaboring this. So first things first, I started with now. Yes, this is a trial size. I think I might. I don't know. I have some primers that I love. This is the Fenty Pro Filter Retouch Primer. I will say I I think this is really great to use before their foundation because it helps it stay longer um, and it really does give it like I mean. Here, let me tell you what a primer does. I don't know if you guys know, but you, it primes your skin so that your makeup stays longer. And this does the, do, the job just fine. I, I don't know that I have like a lot to say about it, but I did use their primer. I'm not mad about it. Someone next door is yelling. What's happening? We have some neighbors that literally, so there's a window over here. And when I first moved in, I like didn't have curtains and I guess I just didn't think anyone could see me through a window. And there's these two women who live next door and I saw them in the hallway one day and they were like, hey, you're new here. Um, I just wanna say like, probably wanna get some curtains. <laughs> so they just saw me nakes. Nakes all the time. Um, and they also are constantly having like belligerent arguments. So <clears throat> I 
I hope, I hope they're not starting something up, but it happens about twice a week. Anyway. <sighs> can you hear them? It's starting, it's starting. Yeah, it's really bad. I don't think you guys can hear. <laughs> Jessica Erson, I got the Fenty Beauty collab box with BoxyCharm and well, it was, ter it was a terrible box. Speaking of it, I'm cleaning my brushes on the, yes, Sarah Better Off Red said that that was not the best box. Um, <laughs> Sassy Red, maybe they're arguing because they don't see you nakes anymore. <laughs> Maybe they are. Wow, they're really taking that argument back about nine years. Like, they're really digging up some old shit to argue about. Okay. Selena's like, let's get on with this. What did you purchase? Trust me, we're gonna, we're getting to it. Okay, so the first thing I purchased was a brand new <clears throat> Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Guys, when you repurchase a foundation, you know you feel strongly about that because there's so much amazing foundation out there and I'm actually kind of shocked that I liked this enough to repurchase it because it is a full coverage foundation. Um, when I first got like, you know, when this first came out, it was like, you could like, everything was sold out. It was just bananas. Um, and so I kind of settled for a shade that wasn't perfect. It was okay. It, it just wasn't the right shade and so now they have the shade in stock that is the perfect shade it's like my skin tone in a bottle um and I got that and I have to say I mean I know it's not rocket science but like the magic of just getting the actual correct shade it's like a night and day situation so I'm in the shade 170 I have um cool I have like a neutral cool undertone and this is just chef's kiss perfection. So I applied this with a damp sponge um, <clears throat> and I love it. I love it and like you can see, I mean obviously I will tell you what I have on my cheeks, but I feel like this is also something that I don't always have to set with powder because it sets down pretty well on its own. I did use a little bit, a little bit of powder here and there so my T-zone wasn't, can I talk? Goodness sake. So my T-zone wasn't greasy, but I love this foundation. I thought I was going to do, they have like a, like a hydrating foundation and it's just like not getting good reviews. And I love this. And I feel like if I use a damp sponge to apply this, I can sheer it out enough where I'm like, oh, this is gorgeous. Like whatever. Oh, Sophia, Sophia is saying she loves the hydrating foundation. Well, that's good to know. All right, well, that's something to, th something to think about. Luna Shells, Kate, Kate, someday when I go back to work, I'll give you a little, a little snap. What is that? Oh, is that like a, 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 an emoji with money in its eyes? You have made us all laugh so much here at such a difficult, weird time. Thanks, Kate. Oh, that's such a sweet message. Thank you. Thank you so much, Luna. Um, and the other, th the other thing that's great about that this foundation is that it is very inclusive. Fifty shades, which e even as a person who obviously I'm not a person of color, so I don't have the same challenges. Um, as a person of color, finding the right foundation. But even the fact that they've expanded the range that far, it it's better for everyone because it, there's more like, I'm gonna, I am going to find the undertone that is correct for me because there are so many options. That's what I'm trying to say. Jeez Louise. Grace Adams, so it's skin inclusive. Yes, Grace Adams, yes it is. Okay, moving on. So I'm gonna tell you everything that's on my face. This is what this is about, we're getting there. Okay, moving on. This I completely forgot about, rediscovered it when I did my full face of Fenty a couple weeks ago. This is the matte matchsticks. Okay, so this is in the shade Linen. I just forgot about this. I wasn't using it. It is a little bit dry and I kind of wrote it off. And then I was like, well, why was I so, 
brash about this because when I basically rub rub this with my finger, the warmth of my finger works so well with it. And then I apply it underneath my eye and it really is, this is a concealer I'm wearing, wearing under my eye. And I feel like it's beautiful. It's beautiful and natural. Again, this sets down really well because it's matte, but it's, it's light. So it doesn't make me feel like an old prune witch. You know what I mean? So I really love this and I'm definitely putting this back in my concealer rotation. Completely forgot about it. This is another product where they ran out of this when I was trying to get it initially, like years ago or two years, whenever this, this came out. And so I settled for this because some girl at Sephora was like, it's the same. Yeah, just get that. It's the same. It's the same. Is it girl at Sephora? Is it the same? I mean, I made it work, okay? I made it work, but like, okay. Right. Anyway. Okay, moving on. Something I'm very excited about. Well, next product I used. Again, everything's linked in the description box if you miss something. So I used the cream bronzer, the cream bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit, and I like went hard, okay? I went hard. I used just my Refer P22, like what I use for everything, powder brushes, everything. And I did my forehead, my cheeks, my chin. I love this. And if you are a person who has like around my skin tone, you're a fair skinned gal, this is great. I feel like the shade, lighter than this is just too light for me. I'm like, well, what am I even doing with that? Like, what's the point? This is perfect. I do have, this is the only Fenty product I didn't use. This is the, the matte matchstick in amber. And this is like every, everyone says this is the perfect shade for like fair skinned gals because it isn't orangey. I like this okay, but it's like a little too, too cool toned. You know what I mean? Like, I just, like this doesn't warm my face or do anything interesting with it. I realize it's more of a contour stick, but I just never, I'm not loving this. I need like a little, a little warmth. So Butter Biscuit is like one of my go-tos now for that. Blends gorgeously. That's what I went over with powder just to, you know, make sure it was blended and everything looked cohesive but love the butter biscuit luna shells i get so hungry when i hear you say butter biscuit i'm like bring on the biscuits and gravy oh my god guys okay biscuits and gravy i don't i can't remember what i've seen recently that have reminded me how much i love biscuits and gravy I love biscuits and gravy and that's something I haven't had in so long like some buttery some buttery flaky ass biscuits with just some like creamy sausage gravy that's just like heavily peppered just like just strewn over the biscuit mm. oh that sounds good oh god Oh, is that where we saw it? We watched Between Two Ferns with Zach Galifianakis and he was eating sausage. He was eating biscuits and gravy? I think, it, I don't know if they were necessarily eating it, but it was mentioned at the, in the diner scene. Okay, all right. Well, anyway, biscuits and gravy. <laughs> I was going to say let's get on it, but let's not. I'm not feeling my featheriest <laughs> as of late. I'm really not. Really not. Okay. Um... Linda, live your life. Simadonna, Kate. I can't. I just can't stop myself. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just checking out the comments. Just checking them out. Linda is saying that this is the, the amber is more from contour. Yeah, and I don't like contour. I mean, yeah, I don't like contour. I just, I am not like, I'm, I'm a bronzer, bronzer person, but I don't like the like 
where they where you know the makeup artists do the lines the very sort of formulaic lines and the, I just I can always see it like every time someone does the very definite line right here I'm like mm, yeah you put a line there you put a line there and you try to blend it out but you didn't quite did you just can't really get down I have a lot of shade from people who love contouring, but I'm just like not really into it. Um, ooh, Jessica said, I got my matchstick in Unicorn. It's a purple highlight. Do you like it? Interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so moving on. Moving on to, so we covered the cream blush. Now, this is like one of my favorite things on my face. This is a brand new product. This is the Fenty Matchsticks Shimmer Skin Stick in the shade Redick. If that is not gorgeous, I believe they describe this as papaya. So that's the blush I'm wearing right now. Okay, so again, I did I, I used it exactly like I used the matte stick. I went in with my finger, warmed it up, and just used it as a cream blush. It is freaking gorgeous, and it looks kind of daunting, right? You're like, oh, that's like a clown stick. No, it's not a clown stick. It's, it's gorgeous. And I also know that this would look beautiful on, I believe, any complexion, any skin tone. Um, and obviously, you know, Rihanna that's the whole deal, right? She wants, she wants to be inclusive. She wants these to be shades that like a lot of different people can wear. My dad sent $18 and 18 cents. Here's to biscuits, gravy, and the end, <laughs> and the end laundry room rats. And the end, and the end laundry room rats. Okay. The Thank Oh, the end of laundry room rats. Yes, exactly. You're like, why do you send 1818? Because my dad's lucky number is nine. <laughs> Thanks, dad. Thanks for the super chat. Okay, so I'm actually going to, even though I have this on, I'm going to put a little bit more on for you because I want you to see it. So could you wear it as a lippy? Someone said, yeah, you absolutely could. Absolutely could. So this has shimmer to it. Okay, this is actually sort of a two in one, right? It's like a cream blush and it has a highlight to it as well. Cause like, who doesn't need a little more blush? We're gonna tone it down. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh no, Kate, you're going too far. No, I'm not, I'll tone it down. Back it up, 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 back it so actually that looks pretty good. I don't think I actually need to tone that down, <laughs> but I'm going to just a little bit, just, just because. That's beautiful. I'm obsessed. So now we have this option, right? We have, we have the shimmer sticks, the match stick. And we also have the Cheeks Out Cream Blushes. And if you think that I forgot about those, <laughs> you've got another thing coming. I did not forget about them. I use those as well, just not in the way you might think. Okay, I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> I was like this, I just wanna stare at it. When I took it, when I took the cover off for the first time, the top, it was just like, ah! it was just like, just so shiny and perfect. And look at that glimmer. Look at that glow. So good. Oh, someone mentioned my ring. Who mentioned it? Keep that ring though. I just saw it. Okay. Well, I saw someone ask about it. Oh yeah. Nancy Braun. So this ring was a treat to myself because Kendra Scott, I don't know if you guys know, but if you have a profile of Kendra Scott 
and you have your birthday on file, your birthday month, you get 50% off of one purchase. So this was my birthday purchase. Isn't that pretty? I'm obsessed with it. I did link it in the description box. It's this fabulous cocktail ring. Um, I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> it's like a seafoam. I think it's called like seafoam green or something like that. Renee Leonard, can I use that color on my red skin? Um, no, I wouldn't just like have a bare face with like super red skin and like put it on your red skin, but like maybe, maybe after you've, you know, done foundation and concealer and, um, not, I'm not quite sure the details on the red skin. Sorry. So I can't really totally speak to that, but, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I try to answer questions and I'm like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> ah, give it a whirl. If you don't like it, return it. I'm, I'm just scrolling up to see what I missed. Oh, Lisa Blancet. Kate, I received your glossy stretch concealer and used your link. I'm loving it. Thank you so much. And the stretch concealer is such a gorgeous just light concealer. Stephanie Rogers, my blush never lasts and it makes me sad. Stephanie, Stephanie, have you been watching any of my videos? I know how to help you with that. You do the cream blush and then you do a powder blush over it. You just pack the blush on, okay? Like that's the thing. Like I bet if you put this much blush on your face, you'd be like, oh, oh God, I've got it. Oh no, it's too much. It's too much. Tiffany, simply the best. $25 Venmo. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Um, just always do more than you think. Just always do more than you think. I promise you will be happier that way. Stephanie, it's not you, it's me. No, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I promise you, if you do a cream blush and then you drive it home with powder blush, your, br your blush will stay. Letty Reyna, thumbs, thumbs up to you all, please. Oh, from Texas here. Yes. Okay, I, I have to say, it's really pretty good. 224 thumbs up and 269 people watching. Thanks, guys. Loopy Shroomy, biscuits and gravy. <laughs> We're still talking about biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy is a breakfast food in the States. Bis Oh, she's just, oh, she's explaining biscuits and gravy. Okay, I'm here for it. Biscuits are the buttery kind, and the gravy is usually white gravy with bits of breakfast sausage in it. <laughs> My mouth just shot out saliva. Paula B44 sent $44. Okay, Mr. Cousins, nine is your number. We'll add these two. Four plus, $44, thank you, Paula. Four plus four is eight. Is that your lucky number, Paula? Eight? Well, regardless, I don't care because <laughs> I love a $44 super chat. Thank you so much, Paula. Yes. Someone here doesn't know what biscuits and gravy are and people are like getting in there with it. They're explaining the tradition of biscuits and gravy. Oh, ultravert. Wow, that's Thanks for sharing. I'll have to look into it. Sounds delicious. I've never heard of it. All Trevor, are you, where are you located? She's from England. Oh, you're from England. Cheerio. How you doing, love? <laughs> Should I do my, my bad English accent for you? Is that what you want? Is that, what, 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 are you, what are you asking for? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Oh. She's gone. She's gone. She's, she left the building. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <clears throat> um, okay. Wow. Where were we? Biscuits and gravy. Moving on to more Fenty. So we did the cheeks. We talked about one of my favorite new products. Yes, we love it. Now, I did, like I said, I powdered my face 
not Fenty, but I powdered my face with my Charlotte Tilbury. And then, and then, my brows are not Fenty. Like I'm just, I'm just focusing on the Fenty, okay? So I did my eyes with two products that you wouldn't necessarily think to do eyes with, but I got creative. I used my Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Blush in the shade Petal Poppin on my lids, okay? Which I'm pretty much obsessed with. Can you see them if I go like this? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so I literally just patted this in um, with my finger and then I, I went over it with just my powder brush just to set it because it was, you know, it had some like dewiness to it. So I set it with powder and then I went over it with, I'm having so much fun with this um, How Many Carrots Glitter Veil. Cause it seemed like something that was like, am I gonna use this a lot? But I love it. And so it's this like perfect light glitter veil over the cheeks out blush on my eyes. It reminded me a lot of some of the ColourPop shadows because a lot of those shadows I love have this like really, really gorgeous fine glitter to it. I feel like I kind of recreated it with these. Yes, gives it that wet look, Sassy Red said, exactly. Um, I love it, I love it. And I feel like I could literally just, I, I applied this with my finger. I don't know that's actually gonna pick up. Oh, here we go. So, I mean, it really is, yeah, it's a wet look. I'm gonna go in some more. And I have to say, there's not a lot of fallout with it. And it, but also like, I kind of don't care if there is, you know what I mean? I kind of don't care because it's such like a fine glitter that I feel like a fairy princess. I am stunned that there are no fruit flies. Guys, where'd you go? I know I like talked about you, but like, I feel lonely without you. Are you here? Bueller? Bueller? Okay. Anna Cable, Cabal, is that on your collarbone too? No, but you know what I, you know what? Now it is. Cause I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go in. I don't know if you're actually gonna be able to see it though. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> so I, I have a moisturizer on, but I have my Waleda skin cream on, which is also a part of this makeup routine. So I have the Waleda skin food and now I'm just going in just because someone told me to. I mean, that's as good as a damn body oil. Is it not? Okay, someone just gave me a new, a, like a new purpose for this and I'm obsessed. Like actually, uh, 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 look at them collarbones, uh. So good, so good. Okay, so. One more thing with the eyes. Where is it? Yes. So I was like, well, I used my Fenty cream bronzer, right? Well, I've already used my bronzer, so I'm done. I have another bronzer that I love. I was like, how am I going to showcase that? Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you how I'm gonna showcase it. This is the Sun Stalker Powder Bronzer in Shady Biz and I used it underneath my eyes. I pulled a better off red because she's all about like taking a shadow and making the eyes pop by putting it under the eye. So I took a smudge brush and I just used that to line my under eye and it's freaking gorgeous. Obsessed, it's perfect, it's perfect. Like it's not too much, you know what I mean? It's the perfect sort of like subtle under eye shade. What did I miss? Someone has an anniversary. Whose anniversary was it? Tara Breeden. Tara Breeden, oh, happy anniversary, Tara. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what is there to do? Tell me what you're up to. Oh, she's leaving, bye Tara. Okay. So 
moving on. I'm so excited about this like newfound use for that product. <laughs> like overly excited about it. Where am I gonna go with it? What am I gonna do with it? Who's to say? But now we know, now we know. Also, I don't know if you guys know this about this product, that uh, any of the matchsticks magnetized magic. So, so good. Jessica Urson, wait, you never thought to put highlight on your collar, the glitter veil. I didn't really, didn't occur to me. Also, this is, this looks sort of like a holiday product, right? I feel like this is released during the holidays, which makes people think, oh, Christmas time. But like, no, not just Christmas time. All the time. Damn it. Okay, so moving on. We talked about the eyes. We're almost done with the eyes, except another brand new product that I got today, so excited about, is the Fenty Full Frontal Mascara. Guys, I was skeptical, okay? You know how mascaras are. A lot of them suck. But I was reading about this, and it actually has a really cool wand. So it has like a fat side and then a flat side. So you, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. You're probably not. But like two sides of it are fat. So you use that to like wiggle through your lashes and that gives you like density and, and um, boldness. And then you take the flat side and push your lashes up. So that gives it curl, staying power, whatever. And then of course you take, I take the end and I always like go in and make sure that every tippy tippy lash is gotten. I love this. I think it's beautiful. I'm shocked. I have not heard anyone tell me to run and get it. But when I read about it, I was like, this sounds totally like my deal. I love it. Um, and it's, it's this perfect combination. It's buildable. That's the thing too. It's buildable. I need a mascara that's buildable because I like to go in with several coats. And when I have like spider eyes, like, um, who am I trying to reference right here? Who's the, the preacher's wife who wore too much makeup? I, I always reference her. What's her name? Tammy Faye Baker. Tammy Faye Baker. <laughs> Tammy Faye Baker. I, we can't be doing that. You know, we can't be having like spider lashes and then like you try to go in for the fifth coat and it's like, er, 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 like it's not working. So I love a buildable mascara. This is, you're going to be seeing a lot of this. I really, really love this. I also love the packaging. Can we just talk about it? It's so cool. I'm actually shocked. I, I hate most mascaras. So that's news to me. Okay, so now we're done with the eyes. Moving on, we're almost done, we're almost done. Moving on to the lips. But is it better than Roller Lash? It's not, it's just different. It's different than Roller Lash. I feel like this gives me a more like light feathered, I, I don't know, it's a different look. It's more of a feathered, sexy look where I feel like roller lashes like just like lashes it's like boop, just like long defined lashes which I love but I kind of want both you know what I mean I want I want like density and I want lush lashes but I want them to be long I want it all and I feel like this is a really natural way to get that I don't it's not clumpy I'm just saying I'm just saying, I'm into it. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Checking the comments. I'm trying to think what we watched recently before I move on. We watched, Halloween oh right. So there's this, there's this channel called Shudder and it's like a horror movie channel, streaming channel. Um, and there's a show called drive in with what it's, what is it? The last drive in. I know, but what's the full thing? Say the, the full. Last drive -in with Joe Bob Briggs. The last drive in with Joe Bob Briggs. Now this is something that better off read and her husband love. And then we started watching it 
and it's it's great like if you love movie trivia if you like horror stuff like that he basically has he's the most knowledgeable person about those movies I, I, can't, I can't believe it and they just let him go it's kind of almost like a live stream um <laughs> He's so articulate. He's funny. He's relaxed. He could go on for days about the trivia about these movies. So we watched his special about Halloween, one of my favorite movies. We also watched his special on Heathers. I fell asleep last night because it was super late. But I mean, I've seen Heathers so many times. One of the best high school movies that ever did exist, Heathers. Can we talk about it? It's it's so good and we were just kind of in awe because we hadn't seen it in a while. I ne we never watched it together and like it was kind of like before its time. Like it was very artistic and I you know, he was checking on what the director had done after that and he kind of went on to do nothing else as exceptional. But the fact that like whoever wrote it, I don't know who wrote it. Um created this lingo for these girls that you've never heard again it's it's totally unique um and it's so nasty i mean there's like the worst popular girls ever but that's kind of the point like you know what's your damn what's your damage heather and um, i'm trying to think of other <laughs> other right but but there's like do they make up a word anyway the point is you know what the point is it was so fun to watch again, Winona Ryder was like the perfect mix of gorgeous and relatable and like popular, like i.e. Edward Scissorhands, but also goth and like cool. Like who gets to be both those things? Winona Ryder did, that's who. Um, also we were talking about how like no one's naming children Heather anymore. Like that was such a name of the time. Heather Willis, not a mean Heather here. Like it would be so weird if I met a baby named Heather today. Wouldn't that be weird? I think that'd be weird. <laughs> it's just like Heathers are only teenagers. Like if you're Heather, you only get to exist as a teenager or an adult, but like you don't get to be a child because that just doesn't make any sense. Just like, I don't know, think of another name. Um, Ethel. I'm sorry if anyone's named Ethel, but like you only get to be an old lady with that name. Like how could you ever have been two? And someone's like, come here, Ethel. It's just not right. It's just not right. No one's naming him Randy anymore, I guarantee that. That's right, no one's naming people Randy either. That's probably for the best, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, so, agree. okay, he agrees. It's fine. Ms. Robbie Lou agree. I went to school with a very popular mean girl named Heather and the movie was so good. Yes. I'm just reading through all the comments. Yes, I have seen Dead to Me. I've seen season one. I haven't seen season two yet. My cousin, Christina, my cousin named her baby Hazel. I still don't know why. Oh my God, I love that name though. Oh no, I love Hazel. That's super cute. Sorry, I disagree. <laughs> um, now Bertha, maybe not. You know what I mean? Why, were, why was anyone named Bertha? You get some thumbs down from some Berthas out there. Sorry, Bertha. <laughs> Your name's really cute. It's really cute. I take it back. <laughs> okay, we're now we're just naming people are. This is now turned into my last live stream where people are just yelling out the names of Broadway musicals. Gertrude, Gladys, Christina, Wendy, Bertha, Wilma, Ruth. <laughs> Meredith, Myrtle, Barbara, Regina, Hazel. <laughs> oh my God, there's so many, there's so much room for so many thumbs downs from all of these people named these names. <laughs> Natalie Jenkins, my dad wanted to name me Bert. 
Thank goodness for mommies. Bert? Was your dad, like, did he wish horrible things upon you <laughs> from the beginning of life? That's terrible, Bert. I mean, that's cool when you're an adult and it's like, yeah, like, I go by Bert. Like, then you get to do that, but only if you turn out to be cool. Otherwise, that's just, that's just mean. That's mean. Okay. Well, people are like flipping out about it. Wow, this is creating a whole thing. <sighs> Jenny, my grandma was named Iris and I met someone recently with a baby named Iris. I thought that was a little odd. I love, see now I like the name Iris. I think it's cute. My first, Jamie Mayfield, my first name was Joshua Shane because my parents were so sure I was a boy they didn't think of a female name. Wow, that is really confident. That's super, that's super confident of them. Um, okay, okay, now we're gonna move on. <laughs> Got caught up in the name game here. I don't even know where I was. Where was I? I just did my eyes, okay. We're moving on to lips. So, guys, I am in love with this product. And again, I, I feel like the four things I got in the mail today from, from the new things, the spanking new things I got from Fenty, I was blown away by. Mascara, yes, same foundation, but new shade. Changed my life. This lipstick and that freaking papaya matchstick in the shade Redick. All of them are like nailing it. So this is the Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick. And it's a very similar shade to what I put on my cheeks. This is like a bold, again, it's like a bold orangey coral, a, a kind of papaya-ish shade. Um, I'm gonna add some more because surely some has come off on my wine glass. What? This is so gorgeous. It wears so beautifully. It goes on so creamy. It is not uncomfortable. Yes, I did put a gloss over it, which I'm gonna talk about, but earlier today I tried it without a gloss, wore it, <laughs> wore it around, wore it under my mask. It was not drying because here's the thing. I really, really wanna like her Stunna lip paints because I got that first shade when it came out, the red, and I was convinced I loved it because I wanted to and it was beautiful but I don't like that. I try so hard and I, and I love the colors. There's some of them that I want to get, but I don't like the consistency. It's so drying and then it's dry, but then like there's like a tackiness that won't go away and my lipstick, to, I don't like it. I do not like it. This I love. So this again is in the shade, um, Dragon Mommy. <sighs> It's such a fun, it's such a fun summer shade. So I, I did the Dragon Mommy. Oh, Jessica said, I got the shade Candy and it's hot pink. Yeah, I bet. I bet it is. Um, Sophia said, I love the Mademoiselle lipsticks, especially the red one called Madame. Oh, I'll have to get that. Well, now that I know that I love the, form love the formula, I'm getting more, like 100%. Guys, I don't like matte lips in general. I mean, and that's why in the last few live streams, when I've used a matte lip, I've diffused it with a brush because I feel like I can deal with it a little better, bit better. This feels like a cream. It's kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury matte revolution lipsticks where I'm like, Okay, it's a matte, but like, it's so comfortable, I don't understand. Okay, moving on, but let's have a drink first. Mm. Stephanie Rogers, I have the red lip stunna. I can't manage to transfer and don't like the texture. I know, I, I want to like it so much. They have a shade called, un I think it's unattached. 
which is like a bright pink coral shade. Um, it's a little, it's pinkier than this. And I loved it when I tried it on the store and I just couldn't bring myself to buy it because I hated how it wore. Like I just wanted to rip it off my lips. So unpopular opinion probably. Okay. Okay, so coming to the end here of the of the Luke. So I decided to be extra. We could have left it matte, right? I'm gonna boop, just get rid of the excess of that because I'm gonna go in, I know, I know, I know. These are, or rather this is from the Fenty um, Glossy Posse set that is still on sale because it I think it's just like flying off the shelves like it really is such an amazing set of glosses and I just really need them to come out with full sizes in all of them because I love this one I love the pink one I love the orange one but this is a really beautiful topper it's like almost like a blue like a blue flip holographic topper and I'm actually gonna put it on my finger here so that I don't muddle the gloss. Okay, you can kind of see it has a blue, like a bluish icy look to it. Now, if that isn't like a glamorous glossy lip, I don't know what is. Okay. Sorry, I'm just reading the comments. Oh, Emily said the Fenty Poutsicles are good too. I'll have to try those. So yes, if you guys missed, I saw someone mentioning the PO box. I announced it in the beginning but I do have a PO box for everyone who's asked, which has been a lot of people. So, and that is in the description box. It will be in everything I put out from now on in case, you know, you just like, can't wait to send me something. I mean, it better be good. Whatever you send me, it, it's, I mean, better be good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, that towel. Okay. So, I know I have to cheer something, but I'm not done yet. One more thing. So this, this is what I, the last step to this whole look is not Fenty, but I have to share it because it's just, it's so creative and so gorgeous. It is my Willetta skin food. I have been talking about this, a person who, the person I learned about this from is Katie Jane Hughes, who's like, a makeup artist and a skincare maven here in New York City. She uses this all the time. She mixes it with like lipsticks to make cream blush. This is what I put all over my decolletage today and now have mixed basically that glitter bomb with this to create like just like a gorgeous shimmery hydrated highlight. Um, so what I did with this is, you know, I like I said, I used a lot of matte products today, right? I used the matte foundation. So I wanted to bring back like a little bit of dewiness to my skin. So I basically just went over like my bronzer and blush and everything with just a little bit of the Willetta. And now if that isn't just like a gorgeous natural, I mean, it is natural because it's literally just hydration but like a beautiful natural highlight. I don't know what it is. I just love it. I just absolutely love it. It's also perfect timing right now because we all need more hydration because we're washing the hell out of our hands. So I'm like digging into all the ways I can use this product in different ways and get creative. That's that. And yeah, and then I did go over my cheeks before I put that on with a little bit of the diamond veil. But, gosh, what am I going to cheers? I can't decide. But 
what's happening? <laughs> so Jesse go into the comments and I'm just like, what the hell is going on in here? What is happening? Mm-hmm, okay. Someone's talking about the history of Oleda. I don't know anything about their backstory or anything political with their companies, so I cannot speak to that. Um, I, I, can't, I can't speak to that. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're just talking about all the things. We're talking about Oleda, we're talking about Fenty, we're talking about biscuits and gravy, we're talking about names. <laughs> Okay, so what's even okay? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna back away from the chat and just say this is the finished look. Um, and okay, let me think. What should I cheers? What should I cheers? Hmm. Oh, it's tough. It's really tough because a lot of these things, like in combination with each other, are just so fantastic. Um. Oh, there's a fruit fly. I knew, I knew it. I knew it. It's between, oh, it's hard guys. It's hard. Cece's saying the lipstick. The lips, everyone is the lipstick, the cheeks. Oh, I'm gonna cheers two products. I don't care, I'm gonna break my rule. You know what? No rules, there are no rules. I'm going to, Cheers two products in one. I'm gonna cheers the Matchsticks and Redick. The lipstick in Dragon Mommy. <laughs> Let me see. Fenty Matchstick Shimmer in Redick and Mademoiselle Plush Lipstick in Dragon Mommy. Good job! Guys, I remember what they were called. <laughs> feel very overly proud of myself right now. Okay, so I think that's it. This is a little bit shorter today. Not by much, not by much, but I just am so excited about everything that I have on my face. I feel like it, they're damn winners. And you know, you know when you put those orders in and you see those dollar amounts, you know how relieved you are and you're like, Oh, but that's good though. But I did good though. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. Again, everything, of course, is linked in the description box below. I do have a PO box. You can see that in the description box. And my merch is currently on sale. The code, again, in the description box. It is merch sale but it's super tricky and damn you Teespring for making the promo code really complicated. It's merch sale, but instead of an E in the word merch, it's a three. Just look in the description box, just look. Um, and that's it. So thank you guys for joining me. I will of course be back on Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know what the hell we're gonna be doing, but I'm sure I'll figure it out the night before. My glass needs to be cleaned. Do you see this? That's disgusting. I should be ashamed of myself. That's disgusting. See you guys on Friday. Okay, bye.